Let's play Barnga. Barnga, a card game for intercultural trainings. What is Barnga? Barnga is a fun card game for intercultural trainings to experience first-hand intercultural contact in a playful way. It simulates the cultural variety in human behavior. The game is easy to learn and all participants get involved. The principal aim is to train and improve the intercultural competence of the players. How does it work? Let's have a look. The participants are invited to play a card game tournament. To play this tournament, at least nine people are needed. They all sit at different tables, while each table should have the same number of players. The trainer hands out the rules. After the rules are read and understood, the trainer takes them away. The basic condition for playing Barnga is that the participants aren't allowed to use oral communication. Instead, they can communicate by drawings on a piece of paper and by gestures. The first round takes five minutes. The winner will be the one with the most tricks and the loser the one with the least tricks. After the five minutes, the winner goes to the left and the loser to the right table and the next round starts. What is special about Barnga? Comparable to a cultural shock, the participants come together in a casual atmosphere as everything seems to be familiar. But already in the following rounds, the relaxed atmosphere from the first round changes. Confusion arises because the new teammates don't play by the same rules as learned in the round before. As everybody plays by his own rules, misunderstandings occur because there's no shared mental model. There's a lot of scribbling on the papers going on as the players try to figure out what's going wrong. As you can see, the players try to make themselves clear by strong mimics and a lot of gestures during the interaction with their teammates. Additionally, they feel handicapped because of the verbal communication ban. This causes multiple emotions. Participants start to get irritated. You can see incomprehension and confusion. A few players might be frustrated as they can't figure out what is going on. The participants try to explain their own rules to each other, which can lead to further misunderstandings. All in all, a sense of uncertainty is observable and misunderstandings sum up. This tension in the teams can be expressed by nervous laughter and signs of disapproval. This can lead to refusal, but also to the development of new solution strategies. What do the participants say? To gain the most out of the game, there has to be a reflection round after every intercultural simulation, so that the participants can reflect on understanding each other's reactions. This dialogue gives a better insight into the past interactions. The goal is to transfer the participants' experience to intercultural situations in everyday life. Let's have a look at what our group talked about after the game. One thing is very clear. Everybody is confused. It just was so confusing for me. I just didn't get this special yeah, rule. We had the same rules. I, I, don't, think. I don't think so. Yeah, oh, almost. And you're almost, yeah. totally different from yeah. And has to adapt to new social dynamics. Because I was one of those always being in the minority. I always tried to bring my rules to the yeah. other tables, but no chance. Yeah. And then I felt like, oh, come on, guy. Which results in irritation. They just took the cards, I just won. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, no, you cannot, you cannot take those cards. <laughs> 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 without, without just before, we should have been explaining what, what's the rule. Mm. So, okay, obviously now there was like some kind of conflict with the rules. So, there was, and they just took my cards, and there was no <laughs> space for like thinking about a new rule. That was not knowing what to do now, I was, was feeling, yeah, 
strange and What has intercultural competence as the main goal of Barnga to do with all this? While playing Barnga, the participants experience a variety of feelings which are likely to occur in real intercultural situations. The missing common set of rules leads to different assumptions of how to behave correctly in that moment. It becomes clear that something is not going right. There are different ways to deal with that. The participants can either ignore the problems and stick to their own rules, but they can also try to exchange knowledge with the others to develop shared mindsets and thereby raise their intercultural competence. A mixture of approaches is possible too. So what exactly is intercultural competence? Intercultural competence is a general competence to create normality and routines in an unfamiliar setting. It is a transfer competence because it is context sensitive and therefore specific to cultures. It is all about creating new action strategies and routines in a dynamic context with little known rules available. There are different types of intercultural trainings. Trainers can use the method map to find their way through the variety of possibilities. Barnga can be placed in the intercultural and interactive sector. This means by playing this game, the focus of the training lies on intercultural contact and the participants are involved in the procedure. Now, we hope you are motivated to use this simulation in your future trainings. As you know as a trainer, simulations need to be experienced and realized to really know what they are about. We hope you have a lot of fun playing Barnga.